we need to now take this number and we need to raise it to the 761st power. So I'm going to write some powers here. I'm going to say this to the first power is just equal to whatever our message is. Okay. To raise it to the second power, I'm going to say it's equal to that times that. The same thing times itself. Okay, now if I drag this down, I get the problem where I'm actually multiplying f14 by f14 when I really want to multiply this number of f14 by f13 up here. So it turns out that in Excel, you can control how the autofill works by putting a dollar sign in front of the, the row and the column. And this says, always use this number and then the other one will increment so if i do this and i drag it down you'll notice that this one is again still f13 which is this number and then the next one increments to f14 now we're getting big quick in fact we're going to run out of um, space in excel to calculate pretty soon here which i believe excel oh let's see it'll go away which is I guess the new Excel is impressive that way. But we don't really care about all that because we're adding around this clock. So we can take this number that we had before, and we can say that it's, all we really care is what that number is on our clock. Our clock, of course, has 21,877 um, hours on it. But it's still the same idea as we did with the 11 plus 4 example. So I'm going to put this number in for my divisor here. And I'm going to anchor it with those dollar signs again because I don't want to reference a different number each time. Okay, so now when I drag this down, I'll never get a number bigger than this number because it'll just keep wrapping around the clock. Okay, so we're going to get this up to um, at least 10. We'll go to 20, say. Okay, 20. We can keep doing this formula till 20. Now if we did this all the way up to 761, that'd be crazy. That would take forever. Not to mention going to 7061. Mildly possible here because we would have enough um, rows in Excel, but not really worth it. Well, it turns out that because this is all going around a clock, that I can just take this number, say, here, and if I square that, I'm going to get 10 to the 20, and I don't have to do the in intermediate steps here. Okay, so we'll just uh, we'll try that. So I'm going to put in a 10 here just to remember that it's 10, and then we're going to do the exact same thing, except now when I multiply, I'm going to be going up by tens. Okay, so we'll say that's equal to this number. Okay, we're just sort of moving over here, and now I'm going to say that this is equal to the same formula I did before, mod of the top number times the top number. I go and I anchor it, and I anchor it so that this number won't change as I drag it down. And I put in a comma and make it modular my n. And I anchor my n as well. When I hit enter, you can see that I've got 10 so I've got my number to the 10th power, right? And now here I've got my number to the 20th, 20th power by taking this and squaring it. And you can see that this number and this number are the same, which is a, you know, not a proof, but some evidence that it is working. So I'm gonna get rid of these. And we'll keep going down this row like this to 100. Oops. There we go. So as I go down, the anchors stay the same. And up here, you can see just the other one increments. Okay. Of course, I want to get up even faster. Okay. So we'll go over here to the hundreds. So this is 100. I'm just moving this number over. And the next one would be 200 and 300 and 400, 500 and 600 and 700. We don't need to get above 700 because only going up to the 761st power. So again, equal mod this times that again. Anchor one of them. Put in a comma.
comma. And then by now I've been noticing that it's B, B4 is my, where my divisor is. I can hit enter there and drag this down and get to 700. Good. Now, I need to take my message and raise it to the 761st power. So how could I do such a thing? Well, I need to multiply by some of these together. So when I multiply exponents, so say I have 2 to the 5th times 2 to the 3rd, that's equal to 2 to the 8th, okay, the 5 plus the 3. So all I need to do is go in here and find a bunch of numbers together that will add up to 761. Okay, so I'm going to look up um, 600 here. Okay, so this number right here, um, J36, is this number to the 600. Okay, so my 600 block is equal to this number right here. Boom. Okay. I need to add another 100, and I'll be at 700, okay, which is equal to that block right there. Okay, and then I have, we'll add another 60, and that's going to be equal to this block right here. And then, of course, we need to add a 1, that's equal to this block right here. We can verify that we do, in fact, add up to 761 by doing that. Then here, I need to do the same sort of addition. So I'm going to now say that this is equal to mod this number. Actually, let's do it this way. This is going to be 1. So this is equal to this times that. All right. And But I really only care about a modular. Four, anchored. Okay, so what this formula will do is it'll take this number here and multiply it by that number. I just put a one in there so it doesn't change, and then it'll do it mod our big number twenty-one thousand and change. So when I drag this down, I'll get twenty-nine times fifteen thousand two hundred and forty-one. If I actually did that out, it would wrap all the way around, and I'd have one hundred and seven left over. And by the time I get down here, I get one thirty-two. Okay. So 132 is this number, B18 times B17. Of course, that's not actually what I want. So hold on, let's rewind. And my formula is incorrect because I need to multiply all these together, right? This is going to be equal to mod this number times that number. And again, we need the divisor dollar $V dollar four. Okay, there we go. So this is now one times 29. When I drag it down, it's going to be 29 times this. Okay, so the 107 is now this times that. And when I drag it down again, it's now going to be 20,412 times 107. And when I drag it down again, I get 96. Okay, and if I drag it down again, I get zero because there's no number over here. Excellent. So my encrypted now message now is equal to that number right here. Okay, let's bold these. Okay, now to decrypt, I need to take my encrypted message here is that number and I need to take that message and I need to raise it to the D power which in this case is 7061 okay so we need to do the same sort of thing so message is what we're looking for over here okay so I start with 1 being equal to One being equal to my message, my encrypted message, two, and we do the 
the same thing. We're going to ramp up to 10. Okay, and we're going to say this is equal to mod this number times the top number divided, divided by b4. And we're going to anchor it to the top. Okay. Scroll down to 10. I'll copy the 10 over. That's equal to the 7 here. And now we're going up by tens. Okay, and that's equal to mod this number times this number. You may notice that we're getting awfully repetitive here. And that is one of the indications that this would be a good job for a program. Okay, there's in fact a decent chance that I will cause an error in here somewhere that we'll have to fix at the end of this video. Scroll down, we get to 100. Okay, we can move our 100 over here. So that's equal to this number here. And that will be able to go up by hundreds. We'll go up to 1,000, say. Equal mod this number times this number, comma, anchor B4. Okay, and we're going to anchor our J by 45. Close our parentheses. Good there. We get up to a thousand. We're almost there. One thousand. I already know that something's wrong, but we'll fix it in a minute. It equals this number. We go up to two thousand. And this we only need to go up to about seven thousand. Equals mod this number times that number, comma, dollar. So what do I know is wrong? Well, one, it's B5, not B4. Okay, so that's what I need to fix. Okay, notice that these ones here are B5. This one's here is B4. Okay, so right here, these actually need to be fives. My mistake. Drag that through there. Notice that because I've been clever about the way everything is gone, but that actually updates, it should be updating here as well. So this becomes a B5. Okay, there's my encrypted messages now, 13790. Okay, over here, these also need to go B5. We'll drag those down. I told you there'd be an error in there somewhere. And this is also going to be B5. And this one will be B5. And this one will be B5. Okay, excellent. So now we have to do the same thing where we need to construct a way of multiplying or raising something to the 7061st power right here. All right, so this is not too bad. We're going to take the 7000 block here. We're going to say at 7000, we are looking at this number right here, which is looks like L60. All right, so it is equal to L60 down here. Okay, and then we would also be looking at, we we're trying to get to 7,061. So we'd be looking for 60, so there's the 60. 60 equal to this number right here. And then of course a one, which is equal to that number right there. We can verify, of course, that this adds up to 761, which it does. And then here we need to do that same algorithm that we did before. Start with one, this is going to be equal to mod this number times that number, comma, B5. Okay, and we drag that down. 